Welcome to Who Died Today America, your daily source for remembering and honoring the lives of those who have passed and the legacies of the most notable personalities. These individuals captivated audiences around the world with their talent, charisma, and dedication to their respective industries. Through their work, they touched the lives of countless people and brought joy, laughter, and inspiration to millions. Join us as we pay our respects to these extraordinary individuals and remember the contributions they made to our world. Though they may be gone, their legacy lives on through their work and the memories they left behind. As Darcy Lexby, Walter Cole mesmerized audiences with his larger-than-life presence and unforgettable performances, cementing his place with his flamboyant personality as an icon in the world of drag and entertainment. He passed away on March 23, 2023, at the age of 92, leaving behind a legacy that will forever live on in the hearts of his fans. Cole began his drag career in the 1950s, at a time when being a drag queen was far from mainstream. He went on to become the longest performing drag queen in the United States, earning a Guinness World Record in 2016 with a career as an entertainer spanning 57 years at the time of his death. Over the years, Cole became a fixture in the Portland community. He was known for his charitable work, supporting causes like AIDS research and LGBTQ rights. He also became a mentor to younger performers, helping them develop their craft and find their place in the world of drag. Throughout his long career, Cole received numerous accolades and honors. In 2016, he was inducted into the Oregon Music Hall of Fame, and in 2018, he was recognized with a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Portland Business Alliance. Cole was not only a legendary drag performer but also a trailblazer for LGBTQ rights and representation. He lived through a time when drag was considered taboo and even illegal in some places, and he helped pave the way for future generations of queer artists and activists. He will always be remembered as a larger-than-life figure who brought joy, laughter, and pride to her beloved city and beyond. Tributes to Darcy Lexby. Jerry Green was a fabulous sports intelligencer and author who left an unmatchable legacy in the field of sports reporting. He was born on April 15, 1928, in Detroit. Michigan, he spent the utmost of his life reporting on sports with integrity, moxie, and unequaled enthusiasm. Green began his career as a staff pen for the Associated Press in 1956, where he honed his craft and developed a deep passion for sports. Latterly, he joined the Detroit News, where he spent the utmost of his career, from 1963 to 2004. During his long career, he covered every major sports event including the Olympics, World Series, and the Super Bowl. Jerry Green was a trailblazer in the sports journalism assiduity. He was the only sports writer to have covered each of the first 56 Super Bowls, a remarkable feat that earned him a place in the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2005. He was also instated into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame in 2003, a testament to his exemplary work. Jerry Green passed away on March 24, 2023, at the age of 94. His death was a great loss to the sports journalism assiduity, but his legacy will live on. He was a true icon who set the standard for sports reporting, and his contributions to the field will never be forgotten. Tributes to Jerry Green. Virginia Zeni was a famed Romanian peace songster who made an unforgettable mark on the world of music with her extraordinary gift and fidelity. Zeni sorely passed away on March 20, 2023. She left behind a rich legacy that will inspire generations to come. Throughout her career, Zeni received numerous awards and accolades for her inconceivable oral capacities and contributions to the world of pieces. In 1991, she was awarded the title of Commendator by the Italian government for her music services, and in 2016, she was instated into the Romanian Academy for her continuance of achievements. 
Zenny's work as a soprano songster was nothing short of remarkable, having performed leading places in pieces houses across Europe and North America. Her voice was known for its clarity, beauty, and emotional depth, and her performances were always stirring and indelible. Beyond her tremendous skill as a songster, Zenny was also an influential figure in the world of pieces, nurturing youthful gifts and serving as a tutor and part model for numerous aspiring vocalizers. As we mourn the loss of Virginia Zenny, we also celebrate the legacy she leaves before. Her contributions to the world of music will continue to be felt four times to come, and her memory will never be cherished by those who loved and respected her. Tributes to Virginia Zenny. Clarence Eugene Fuzzy Haskins was an American songster who left an unforgettable mark on the music assiduity through his inconceivable voice and songwriting capacities. He was born on June 8, 1941. Haskins suffered a serious stroke in 2022. He died from complications of diabetes on March 17, 2023, at the age of 81. Haskins began his music career as a member of the doo-wop group, the Congresses, in the 1950s and 1960s, he gained significant recognition as one of the founding members of the groundbreaking and influential funk bands, Parliament and Funkadelic. In the 1970s, his contribution to these bands helped to shape the face of funk music, and he remained an integral part of the group until he decided to leave and pursue a solo career in 1977. Throughout his career, Haskins received numerous awards for his outstanding work in music. He was instated into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997 as a member of Parliament Funkadelic. And in 2019, he was awarded the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, feating his immense contribution to the music assiduity. Haskins' legacy will always remain an alleviation to aspiring musicians and fans of funk music. His hit songs and distinctive voice continue to reverberate with fans long after his end. The music assiduity has lost a legend but his memory will live on through his dateless music. Tributes to Fuzzy Haskins. Rodolfo Olivares, more known as Fito Olivares, was a leading figure in the world of cumbia music. The Mexican musician, Firstly from Ciudad Camargo, Tamo Lippas, was born on April 19, 1947, and devoted his life to creating vibrant, danceable measures that charmed cults across Latin America and beyond. On March 17, 2023, Fito Olivares passed away, leaving behind a rich musical legacy. Throughout his decades-long career, Fito Olivares recorded numerous compendiums and mates, uniting with some of the most talented musicians in the genre. He was known for his innovative approach to cumbia, investing it with rudiments of jazz, gemstone, and other musical styles to produce a sound that was uniquely his own. His successors, including La Golina, Juana La Cubana, and El Col Sterol, remain cherished classics of the genre. Fito Olivares received numerous accolades throughout his career including to Latin Grammy nominations and a Continuance Achievement Award from the International Cumbia Festival. His music has been tried and covered by numerous artists, further cementing his place in the pantheon of cumbia legends. Although Fito Olivares end marks the end of a period, his musical legacy will live on for generations to come. His innovative spirit and unwavering fidelity to the art of cumbia have left an unforgettable mark on popular music and he'll be remembered as one of the genre's most influential and cherished artists. Tributes to Fito Olivares Gloria Dee was a multifaceted personality known for her extraordinary work as an actress, cotillion, artist, and magician. She was born on August 25, 1922, 
and Dee died from coronary artery disease at her Las Vegas residence on March 18, 2023, at age 100. During her continuance, Gloria made a significant impact in the entertainment assiduity and left an exceptional legacy before. Gloria was the first magician to perform in Las Vegas, which was a groundbreaking achievement in the assiduity. She was largely regarded in the magic community for her exceptional chops and fidelity to her craft, which led to numerous awards such as women's council service and recognitions throughout her career. Likewise, Gloria also appeared in colorful Hollywood films during the golden age of Hollywood. She showcased her gift as an actress and cotillion, and her performances won her immense son and admiration. Her hard work, fidelity, and passion for her craft paid off, and Gloria established herself as one of the defining actresses of her generation. Glory as legacy is a testament to her exceptional work, and her contributions to multiple fields have made a continuing impact. She'll always be remembered as a trailblazer, an exceptional artist, and a true icon of the entertainment assiduity. Although she may have passed down, her work will continue to inspire and impact unborn generations for times to come. Gloria D. Jim Frey was a fabulous American professional golfer whose career spans several decades. He was born on June 10, 1931, and unfortunately passed away on March 14, 2023, leaving behind a remarkable legacy. Ferrer's professional golf career began in the early 1950s when he joined the PGA Tour. He went on to win three events during the stint between 1959 and 1968. He also played on the senior PGA Tour now known as the Title Holders Tour, and won two titles. Away from his emotional achievements on the course, Free was a reputed figure in the golfing community for his contributions to the sport. He was known for his fidelity to tutoring and guiding youthful golfers, and he guided numerous aspiring players throughout his career. Free was also recognized for his humanitarian work, frequently using his fame to raise finances for colorful charitable causes. In 1972, he established the Jim Frey Foundation, which provides fiscal backing to aspiring golfers in need. Throughout his long and outstanding career, Frey was awarded numerous accolades, including induction into the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame and the Charlotte Sports Hall of Fame. Overall, Jim Ferrer's legacy is one of excellence, fidelity, and liberality. He inspired numerous players and fans throughout his life and his influence will continue to be felt in the world of golf four times to come. Tributes to Jim Free. Stuart Hodes was an American cotillion, choreographer, Cotillion schoolteacher, Cotillion director, an author who passed away on March 15, 2023, at the age of 98. His legacy in the world of Cotillion will continue to be celebrated four times to come. Throughout his numerous times in the assiduity, Hodes received numerous awards and recognitions for his work. He was the philanthropist of a Guggenheim Fellowship, a CMA Choreographer's Fellowship, and the Lifetime Achievement in Dance Award from the Martha Hill Dance Fund, among others. Hode's work as a choreographer and schoolteacher had a profound impact on the cotillion world. He spent over two decades as a member of the Martha Graham Dance Company, one of the most famed cotillion companies in the world. He also served as the director of the dance division at the New School for Social Research in New York City. In addition to his work as a pantomime, Hodes penned several books, including On Stage and Out, a bio describing his life in Cotillion, and the making of a Cotillion, a companion to Cotillion education. The legacy of Stuart Hodes continues to inspire generations of hop and artists, and his contributions to the world of Cotillion will never be forgotten. Tributes to Stuart Hodes.
Lance Reddick was a cherished American actor and musician, best known for his dynamic performances on both the big and small defense. He was born on June 7, 1962, and sorely passed away on March 17, 2023, leaving behind a robust legacy in entertainment assiduity. Reddick's acting career gauged several decades, with some of his most memorable places including Cedric Daniels in The Line, Philip Broyles in Fringe 2008-2013, and Chief Irvin Irving in Bosch. He also received the critical son for his supporting part as Caron in the John Wick Ballot 2014-2023 and his depiction of David Gentry in Angel Has Fallen 2019. Throughout his career, Reddick received numerous awards and nominations for his performances, including a Screen Actors Council Award for Outstanding Performance by an Ensemble in a Drama Series for his work on The Wire. He was known for his capability to bring depth and nuance to his characters, and his gift and fidelity were extensively recognized by his peers. In addition to his acting work, Reddick was also an accomplished musician, having trained at the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York. He showcased his musical capacities in several of his performances, including his part as a songster in the film Won't Back Down 2012. Despite his early end, Lance Reddick will always be remembered as a talented and protean actor, and his contributions to the world of entertainment will continue to reverberate with cults for times to come. Tributes to Lance Reddick their legacy, please leave a like and share your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to check out our other content on Who Died Today America, including our tribute to notable people who passed away in 2020. We are committed to honoring the legacies of those who have left us and celebrating their remarkable contributions to the world. We hope that you will continue to join us as we remember the lives and careers of these talented individuals. Thank you for watching and honoring their legacies with us. May their memories live on, and may they rest in peace.